Okay, so thank you all for thank you all for coming. So great to have you here. So tonight I'm going to be keeping things really, really simple. I'm just sorry, it's still not muting everyone. I'm just going to try and mute everyone as they come in. Mute who spends on entry. Yep, I've got that clicked and for some reason it's not working, but let's hope it works. Okay. Okay, so all right. So yeah, so great to have you all here. So I'm just going to keep things really, really simple tonight. I'm, um, I'm going to be covering how to create a natural first aid kit and also how to reduce toxins um, around the home. So those of you who have followed Healthy Belly Happy Mind for a while know that I'm really, really passionate about supporting families and women to reduce toxins and to improve their health in natural ways. It's everything that I know about. It just, it literally lights me up. I, um, I get so much joy out of seeing people just making really simple choices and changes. So I, uh, one of the things that, I, that I'm really big about is you can't change everything at once. So what I want to talk about tonight, and I'm going to bring up um, an Empower Kit form shortly, which is what we're going to be going through as well. Um, what I want to explain to you all that you don't need to change everything at once. Please don't feel overwhelmed. Please don't feel like, I know when you first start on this journey, you can feel like there's just so much that you, you're you coming up against, you know, and you don't know where to start. And I know when I first started this journey, I felt incredibly, incredibly um, overwhelmed and I wasn't sure where to start. Sorry, my little man just got out of the shower. So he's having a little bit of a yell and a cry with daddy. So I think daddy's trying to keep him entertained. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to first thank you all on behalf of the Healthy Happy Life Tribe. So that is our wonderful essential oils um, members group. So some of you have been invited here by myself um, and some of you have been invited by, um, by other members of the Healthy Happy Life Tribe. So I just wanted to thank everyone for being here. Um, so yeah, so a little bit about me. I've got a little boy. He is a year and a half old, uh, just over a year and a half old, and he keeps me busy. Um, keeps my husband and myself busy. Um, and basically the reason I got started with essential oils is because I, when we were trying for a baby, um, unfortunately our first pregnancy hadn't worked out. And um, I remember at the time being really, really uh, concerned with um, what I was eating and the exercise I was doing, but I wasn't actually thinking about what I was uh, using around my home to clean with and what I was putting on my skin and I remember I was cleaning the shower with bleach and it really dawned on me that you know I was trying all these things but hadn't thought about those um the you know the chemicals that I was cleaning in my shower and it dawned on me when I was actually cleaning my shower with bleach and I thought gosh really need to change this I've been changing everything else but I haven't thought of that so uh, a friend of mine introduced me to the oils and uh, I haven't looked back. Uh, I've changed absolutely everything. We don't use any chemical cleaners in the house now. And as I always say, it's great when Ash goes to lick the shower screen now, we don't have to worry <laughs> as kids do. So, um, yeah, so that was sort of my journey into the oils. And, you know, it's been a, it's been a slow process. I've changed things slowly over the last couple of years. Um, but now I'm so passionate to share my story and share my passion with these oils and to be helping so many of my members to do the same as well. Um, so I'm going to bring up a sheet now and, um, and so that you guys can follow along with what I, with the information that I'm going through. Uh, let me just share my screen. Wait a sec. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see that. Can you guys all see that? Thumbs up. Oh, I can't see any thumbs. Sorry. Can everyone see that in Power Kit form? Yep, perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. All right, so, um, so yeah, basically this is what we're going to be going through. I'm going to, as we go through, I'm going to weave through different things that you can change around your home to have a natural first aid kit. So basically a lot of questions that we get asked often when people are starting are, what are essential oils? And, and I always say, you know, they're basically just pure extracts from plants. So they're extracted, with doTERRA, they're extracted via steam distillation methods. So there's absolutely no chemical extraction, which is fantastic. And uh, the fact is they're really, really strong. So I always say that less is always more with essential 
essential oils. So don't ever feel that you need to be using lots and lots of essential oils uh, to get the benefits. Um, feel free, if you've got a pen and paper, to write down notes throughout the, the class tonight. I know quite a few of you are new to oils as well, so feel free to take down any notes. Um, I'll have a little bit of a question time at the end as well for everybody. Um, but basically, the plants, uh, the essential oils in the plants actually help the plants to fight off mold, funguses, viruses, and bacteria. So when we use them on our skin, it helps us to do the exact same, which is incredible. Um, so they're highly concentrated, and I love this example of one drop of peppermint essential oil is equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. So less is always more. I know when I first started with the oils, I really thought that you know, I needed a lot. I used to slather myself in the oils and feel like that was really helping me. It's actually the opposite. So, um, and it's just a waste of oil if you're using more. So basically uh, one drop of, um, yeah, as I said, one drop of peppermint essential oils comes to 28 cups of tea. And the reason why I realized that they were so powerful was when my little man was first born, uh, he had a terrible nappy rash to the point where it had completely wilted on both sides and I felt like the world's worst, world's worst mother. I felt absolutely horrible. Uh, I tried everything, um, pseudo cream, all the powders, nothing was working, it was getting worse. And one of my friends said, you know, why don't you try your lavender essential oil? And I laughed because I felt pretty silly that I hadn't thought of that. Um, but I ended up just using one drop of the lavender essential oil in 10 mils of a carrier oil. And I'll go through this shortly, but I used a little roller bottle for it. And I just topped it up with a carrier oil. Um, so there's some safe dilutions, which I'll chat about in a second. And literally it was just one drop of lavender essential oil and within two days of applying this, every time I changed him, it had completely healed. For me, that was a really big wake up call because I felt really empowered as a mum to have this natural option when I've been trying all this other stuff and then later finding out things like pseudo cream actually have pesticides in them and, you know, freaked me out a little bit. But, you know, I think as mums, we try to do our best for our little ones and, you know, to find out that, you know, these, ha these household products contain things that they shouldn't can be quite disheartening. Um, so anyway, I used that and I just felt really empowered. But the other side was that I realised how powerful and potent they were and that I really only needed a tiny amount on myself as well. So that was really helpful. Um, but basically, even though I'm studying natural medicine, um, essential oils don't replace traditional medicine. So they do provide a natural alternative, but they're great to work hand in hand. So, um, you know, I, I find that, you know, if something's going on, if I've got a bit of head tension, like if I've had a big day at work and I'm in a bit of pain, I will use uh, frankincense, lavender and peppermint in a roller bottle with coconut oil and I'll put that into my hairline and back of the neck. And the beautiful thing about essential oils is they have the ability to treat the problem versus mask the symptoms. So, you know, when you take something like a Panadol, that just switches off the receptors in your brain so you're not feeling that pain anymore. More. So I love that, you know, that's that's one of my little toolkits in my first aid kit. I actually have one in my handbag, so whenever I do have any head tension come on um, and, you know, it's pounding, I just, I race for that and it's so helpful. Make sure, because it's got peppermint, make sure you don't put it too close to the eyes because you don't want it getting into your eyes. Um, now, um, on that, if you do ever get essential oils in your eyes, please just reach for, I know it sounds gross, but get some olive oil and use that to dilute. Um, the good thing about that is, it, um, it dilutes it further and the irritation is helped much quicker. If you use water, it just disperses the oil because oil and water don't mix. So by doing that, it just makes it much less um, irritated much sooner. Um, we never ever put essential oils inside the ears um, and um, essential oils are brilliant for ear aches as well. And I'll, I'll cover a couple of oils shortly, um, but we just put that behind the ears and back of the neck and um, oils like tea tree um, and an oil called purify and also basil are really effective for um, ear aches as well. Um, the thing I love about the oils is they're safe for the whole family as well. So, you know, we don't actually have, uh, we, the, all that we use um, in our home are um, oils and homeopathy uh, and a few um, naturopathic protocols, but we don't actually have any sort of synthetic uh, medicines in our home. And we literally, that's what we use as our, um, our medicine cabinet. So it's really, it's really nice to sort of have these natural options. Obviously, if we were, we were really sick, we would go to the doctor, but it's nice to have something to reach for first that works. And Asha, um, although we've had a bit of a cold this week, if you've been following on um, my Facebook page, we started to feel sick on the Sunday night. Um, Monday, we felt pretty horrible. Um, Tuesday, we yeah, oh, sorry, Monday, it was Monday, Arvo, we started to feel off. And then Tuesday, we felt pretty horrible. And then we've woken up today fine. And that was by using oils like On Guard and Oregano, which I'll cover shortly, um, to boost the immune system. 
Um, so the thing I love about doTERRA essential oils, and I do like to mention this because a lot of people don't realize when they're um, first using essential oils that not all essential oils are created equally. So the incredible thing about doTERRA oils is they're 100% pure. So we actually have our own grade, which is certified pure therapeutic grade. The reason for that is because we source in 47 different countries around the world, we actually source indigenously because we want the plants to be grown in their natural habitat. So they're getting the right amount of sun, rain, and all those optimal conditions conditions to grow a really um, fantastic plant but because we, we grow worldwide um, a lot of those countries the, re the reason why we don't have an organic certification is a lot of those countries they their idea of organic is very different to what our Australian idea of organic is so you know they can like in some of those countries they can actually pay uh, the authorities for an organic certification and not have any of their oils tested so what doTERRA did is they actually created a their own range of testing and we actually have them tested through a third party and it's the uh, we're the only Australian we're the only essential oil company that have the amount of testing done in our oils I highly recommend if you want more information about that head to the website called source to you.com it is absolutely incredible it has all of our sourcing information doTERRA never ever release anything that's not pure so that oils don't have any pesticides herbicides anything at all added to them no synthetics a lot of um, essential oils that you'll find on the market unfortunately have uh, synthetic properties to them and the the um, shame of it is a lot of the time um, especially in Australia they can actually have up to five up to five percent of something added to a product and it not actually put be put on the label and that's completely legal which is a little bit scary when you think about our food products and things like that and we're not too sure what are being added to them so doTERRA have a really strict policy and nothing is to be added to them um, but yeah I highly recommend you look into the certified pure therapeutic grade and also um, the other thing I love about the the, um, the way that doTERRA source is they have a, um, a huge humanitarian side to them. So um, because we source in a number of the, because we source indigenously, a number of these countries that we source from actually are third world or incredibly disadvantaged communities. So um, what doTERRA have done is they've actually created our own in-house charity called the Healing Hands Foundation. It is a huge part of my heart. I love that I am aligned to this beautiful company. Uh, we're doing so many fantastic things around the world um, in these communities we make sure the farmers are being paid correctly we make sure their living conditions are improved we um, if they don't have a water system we actually um, employ a water system so in um, uh, Haiti where we source our vetiver the poor children would have to walk three hours each day to collect the water and doTERRA actually put a water system in um, into that community so they actually don't have to do that anymore um, we have um, projects um, in uh, Nepal where uh, we have partnered with Days for Girls to educate uh, the women in these communities that don't get any sexual, sexual education. So um, there's lots of things that are going around. I, I really, um, really encourage you to look up the Healing Hands Foundation on YouTube. Have some tissues ready because it's incredibly, um, it, you know, um, it's just heartwarming to see. So um, I love that and I love that we're changing the world one drop at a time with these beautiful essential oils. But I like to mention that because a lot of people don't actually realise that they have this side. Um, to them so um, basically um, as I said each batch goes through multiple third-party testing um, and for the purest oils that you can find in the world so uh, and they're highly affordable as well so if you as I said I have now replaced all my chemical cleaners so um, can I get a bit of a show of hands of how many of you are, are currently using um, Windex to clean with Let's see if I can get a grid up so I can see oh no it's not gonna let me so, so there's a few, oh, some of you don't have videos on. So there's a few of you. So now with Windex, um, I think it's about six or $7 a bottle. Um, if we're thinking about lemon essential oil, so that's what I have completely changed um, and used instead. Oh, someone has asked me a question. Sorry, one sec. Ah, thanks, Kim. <laughs> so we do have someone that's using Windex. So um, six or $7 a bottle. And then with the, now I completely swap that um, with lemon essential oil. All I use is vinegar, water and lemon essential oil and I probably use about 10 drops. Now uh, lemon essential oil works at about six or seven cents a drop. So it's costing me less than a dollar now to make a full bottle of Windex. Windex. Um, and there's, it's the best window cleaner I've ever had. I actually add a couple of drops of lemon essential oil to my dishwasher and it works like a rinse aid. So that's another one that you can use to um, completely get rid of. Um, and yeah, so so lots of things that you can do there and it's highly cost effective. So now, I mean, 
Uh, with Asher, so he's actually never, ever been to the doctors for a sickness. So as I said, we had the cold this week, but we got better really quickly. We, I've never actually had to take him to the doctors for earaches or sickness or anything like that. So it's been incredibly empowering for us as a family to have this on hand. We have been quite lucky as well. Um, as I do say, you know, sometimes sickness cannot be uh, avoided, but we've been quite lucky um, in the sense that him being almost two that we've been able to avoid that so far. Um, yeah, so uh, that's a little bit about um, why doTERRA essential oils. Now, I wanted to quickly cover the different ways that you can use essential oils. So, uh, and then I'll start going into my little first aid kit uh, as well. So, now with internal use, uh, I do recommend diluting with a fat. Um, so, uh, oil, um, you can use them in uh, bliss balls. I love making a gluten-free pasta. I'm just going to see if I can turn that on mute. It's not working again. Someone, can everyone just check that they're on mute? Sorry, I can hear someone in the background. And it's not letting me turn it off. Usually automatic. Sorry, guys. Let's see if I can do it from up here. No. Uh, hang on one second. Uh, mute, mute, mute. Let's see. There we go. Cool. Got that sorted. Sorry, everyone. Uh, okay, got that off the screen. Ah. There we go. Um, yeah, so I make an incredible gluten-free pasta, um, which is literally just basil essential, a couple of drops of basil essential oil. I've tried to grow basil a million times and it dies every single time. <laughs> so now all I use is olive oil, two drops of basil. I roast some pumpkin, some pine nuts, um, and what else do I do? Um, Sun-dried tomatoes. And I literally just stir it all together with some salt and pepper. It is so yummy. And I love adding some um, baby spinach leaves in there as well. Um, so you can use it for both sweet and savory. So um, I, if I ever, I mean, lemons are expensive. So I love making lemon bliss balls. And I literally just add a couple of drops of uh, lemon to my bliss balls or a smoothie. Um, I love having a honey lemon warm water in the mornings. And I just use a drop of the lemon essential oil. And that's, um, that's a lovely way to use that as well. Um, lemon's incredibly detoxifying as well. So um, topical use, I mentioned briefly that we use a carrier oil. So this is uh, fractionated coconut oil. It's a great carrier to use. You can also use jojoba or almond oil. Um, fractionated coconut oil has um, been um, lightly heated and the long chain triglycerides have been removed. So it's always liquid, uh, which is really handy when you think about your virgin coconut oil that you may have in your cupboard at home. It goes solid in winter. So with the um, fractionated coconut oil, it all, it's always liquid. The other great thing about it is it actually soaks in your skin really quickly. By using a carrier, it actually helps the essential oil to absorb into your skin really, really quickly. Um, but it also um, stops the oils from evaporating. So when you use essential oils directly on your skin, Number one, they can be really drying for your skin without a carrier, but they actually evaporate really quickly and you don't get the benefits for as long. So the carrier oil actually holds it on the skin for longer. Um, I love using roller bottles to use them topically, um, especially with kids because there's a diff few different um, ratios to use with different kids. And please don't, uh, different age groups, don't get overwhelmed with this section. We have a lot of support in our members group um, to help you and guide you through this really easily. But basically one drop on average, on average one drop to 10 mils of a carrier is for a baby. One drop to five mils is for a child over two. And one drop to two mils is for an adult. So for an adult, you literally just put a little bit of the carrier oil in your skin and then add the essential oil and that's perfect. I also love using um, these little I, let, I use a little bowl and I just squirt a little bit of the um, carrier oil, uh, add the oils of choice. My favourite is frankincense because it's very grounding. It's fantastic if you are someone who feels overwhelmed or get anxious feelings. Um, I'll talk about that, my story with that shortly. Uh, but frankincense, wild orange, which is very uplifting, and lavender, which is very calm and good for your skin as well. Um, I love using the two of those, uh, sorry, the three of those in a blend, and it's just a lovely all over body moisturizer. And um, frankincense is fantastic for scarring as well, so you can get rid of some of the, um, I know a lot of um, anti aging moisturizers and things like that, they can be quite expensive and have a lot of chemicals in them. Frankincense is a wonderful alternative for that as well. Um, what else? Um, aromatically is the third way to use them. So now, this is probably my favorite way to use essential oils. So um, getting a diffuser. Now, the reason why um, you would want to use a diffuser over a, say, an oil burner is with an oil burner, an oil burner uses heat. 
Um, same with a vaporizer. You don't really want to use a vaporizer because that uses heat and the heat can damage the therapeutic properties of the oils. So really a great way to use the oils is with a diffuser. If you've never used one of these before, you literally just add a little bit of water um, and a few drops of the essential oil and you just pop it on. So this one runs for four hours. Um, there are other ones as well which um, can run intermittently. Um, you actually don't need a, diff a diffuser running all night. A lot of people think that they actually have to have it going all night or all day. It's actually Actually, um, better to have them on intermittently or on short, short, um, short periods of time because your body actually absorbs what it needs to and then the rest is just wasted so I mean it's nice to have it as a smell but um, yeah it's it's actually not needed all day um, now a few ways you can use the essential oil the uh, diffuser for your natural first aid kit is when you are unwell or when someone pops over and they're unwell, you can pop in some immune boosting oils like On Guard, Lemon, Tea Tree, uh, Frankincense. Um, what else do I add? On Guard, Lemon, Frankincense, Tea Tree. Um, they're really good for immune boosting. Um, so I, oh, and Oregano is another one to add as well. Um, my favorite blend is two drops of each of those. And I pop that on whenever we're on well. So that's been going like crazy the last few days. Um, another one that's really good for your natural first aid kit is Easy Air, which is our respiratory blend. Great for opening the airways, especially if you're sniffling or feeling unwell. Um, what else? Um, the other way you can use Easy Air is if you have a snorer in the house. So if anyone has a snorer, Use that one. You can actually rub it on the bottom of the big toe. It's the reflex point for the respiratory system and the brain, so it really helps with snoring. We've had our members have, <laughs> have been raving about that one with their, their partners. So, um, yeah, so that's a couple of ways that you can use the oils, but obviously in the diffuser as well, you can use it for uplifting the mood. So, you know, if you're feeling really low or flat, you can pop on um, some really uplifting oils. Uh, and again, if you're having trouble sleeping, um, you know, what I, I, um, used to have to take sleeping tablets because I was a terrible sleeper. Um, but now I've found that I've been able to support myself with really grounding oils like um, frankincense, lavender, and a few others. Um, I've just got a question that's popped up. Won't be a second. <laughs> Liberty says easy air saved her relationship. Um, and Fleur, um, the, um, for the head tension is lavender, uh, peppermint and frankincense. And I usually just do five drops of each in the 10 mils plus topped with carrier oil. Um, so yeah, so that's um, a couple of ways. Uh, what else do I use? Uh, uplifting oils in the mornings if you're feeling flat or haven't had a great sleep. Uh, peppermint, wild orange are brilliant. And... Um, I think I was saying calming oil, so frankincense and lavender if I missed that. Um, yeah, so what I want you to do now is I would like you all to get out a pen and paper and I would like you, I'm going to be talking about this section here. I really want you to um, be thinking about what's going on in your own homes. So I really want you, uh, I'm going to ask a question for each of these colour blocks. And again, there's to be no guilt here in this section at all. I want you to be just thinking about what's going on for you. And, um, and this is a really incredible exercise because often we're so busy, we don't think about what's going on in our own homes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you a question, rate right between 1 and 10, with 10 being optimal health and 1 being not so good. And... Um, um, and write that down on your pen and paper and we'll come back to that later. So with proactive medical care, what do you currently have in your own home that's great for, ooh, something's drawn on there. Um, I don't know if that's me. I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, so for proactive medical care, um, uh, what do you have around the home that's good for digestion, for sleep, stress, um, uh, muscle aches and pains, um, anything like that at all? I think someone's actually drawing on the screen. I'm not actually touching my computer screen, so I'm not sure what's happening there. Um, but uh, what's natural in your home that you can reach for for helping with those ailments? Um, and rate that one between 1 and 10. So think about what you have that's natural around the home and rate that one between 1 and 10. The next one is informed self-care. So I want you to think about um, what, do you, uh, what do you currently um do for your self-care self-care practice so if you're a mum i know it can sometimes be quite difficult to find time to look after yourself and sometimes we may know what to do but we have trouble implementing it so what i want you to think about is this an area that you need support with do you need support around the home to to relax and to ground yourself and rate that one between one and ten And the next one is reducing the toxic load. So 
have a think about what you use around your home. Think about what you use to clean your floors, to um, clean your windows, your bathroom. What do you use to, um, as an air freshener in the bathroom, uh, what do you use uh, on your skin? So what, I know I used to use an anti-aging moisturiser and then realised there was a ton of chemicals in the back and it kind of freaked me out a little bit. Um, what do you use as deodorant? So do you use a natural um, deodorant or do you use a, a, just a chemical-based one from Coles? And when you're thinking about that, um, what I what I never knew uh, until I started this journey was a lot of deodorants contain aluminium. So aluminium is a heavy metal and putting it so close to your lymph nodes, especially with the rise in cancer, is incredibly detrimental to your health. So you want to be trying to avoid um, aluminium containing deodorants. Um, but essential oils are brilliant for um, reducing um, body odour. And I actually, all I use now, I buy those crystal salt sticks that you get from Woolies. They're just in the um, natural section right up the top. The brand is actually called Crystal. Um, you literally just add water and rub it on. And then I use a blend of essential oils over the top to, um, to really help with that. So um, it's incredible to, to use. Uh, my, my husband actually, when I first started waving an essential oil deodorant at him, he thought I was completely bonkers, but now that's all he uses. And he's a very heavy sweater and he's found um, a huge benefit with that. Um, and the oil, uh, that we've actually I'll talk about shortly Litsia is brilliant for body odour as well and so is um, actually sorry no and not Litsia um, the Manuka is brilliant for um, for body odour as well so that's a great one to add to your homemade deodorant um, Litsia you could add as well it's got quite a um, beautiful um, lemon balm type smell to it um, but yeah so that's that. Uh, what else with the toxic load? So yeah, so just think about what you're using around your home to clean your carpets, absolutely everything. And it does add up throughout the day. So rate that one between one and 10. Um, have a think about your um, stress and your rest. So are you able to sleep easily? Are you um, overwhelmed, tired, stressed? Um, rate that one between one and 10. The next one is exercise. So I always admit that I am a terrible exerciser. I really do need to get better, but I'm terrible. Um, so with my exercise, I, um, I like to rate this in two parts. The first part is, do you believe that you need more exercise? And rate that one between one and 10, and I definitely do. The next one is, um, do, if you don't exercise, but say you've had a big day at work and you've got sore, achy muscles and joints, uh, do you have natural options to reach for to support your muscles and joints? And rate that one between one and 10. And the next one is eating right. So with eating right, um, do you feel like you get a nutritionally balanced diet or do you feel like that's something that you can improve on? So I always encourage people to really look at the whole food approach. So if you have been following Healthy Belly, Happy Mind for a while, you know that I really like to um, get a wide, uh, rain, a, <laughs> a wide range of um, vegetables into my diet. Um, and, you know, I, I try to eat a lot of different um, types of foods as well, so we're getting different nutrients in there. But one thing I do say is that even though um, our we, you might be eating a lot of fruits and veg, really important to look into a good supplement as well because, unfortunately, the way that our fruit and veg is farmed, a lot of, um, a lot of it is actually nutritionally depleted because it's so overworked. So really good to look into a good supplement as well. Um, so, yeah, rate that one between 1 and 10 and how you feel you're going with eating right. And, again, no guilt with any of these. It's just to get you thinking about what's going on in your own home. And then I want you to have a think about um, how would you feel if you could move your scores up a few numbers? And then I want you to think about what would happen or how would you feel if you didn't make any changes and your scores stayed the same? And I just wanted to ask, now I'm going to open the, um, I'm going to turn off mute for a second. And I want to ask, why do you all think that um, so many people, actually, if, any, if, if someone can, what I'll do is I'm going to, I'm going to pop in, um, if anyone in the comments wants to say, why do you think so many people are wanting to reduce toxins in their life? And I want to see what a few of you, we've got quite a few on the call, we've got 24 on the call so far. So um, I want you to... If, why are some reasons that people are wanting to reduce toxins? Why are people wanting to uh, make changes in their lifestyle? What are some of those reasons? If it's easier for you to unmute and just say some comments, please do.
Come on, guys. <laughs> Few of you are going to know why we're, we're doing that. We've got a comment that's propped up. Because um, I'll have so, something to say as usual. <coughs> um, well, we just want to get rid of all the nasties out of our homes, protect our families. Uh, it costs less. Uh, it's better for us. Um, and, you know, we know that we're doing the environment and our families lots of good. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Thanks, Sarah. Um, and I think someone's, I think Evie, did you put your hand up? Okay, we've got a few things that have popped up. So, Better Life Quality from Sam. Um, Jess, you think we're getting sick when they shouldn't be? And they said better health for family and more affordable. Yeah, all good reasons, definitely. Um, so what I'd like you to do now is on your piece of paper, I'd just like you to write three things that either yourself or your family is struggling with right now. There'll be um, an opportunity um, to touch base with either myself if um, I invited you to here tonight or um, if one of the other members invited you, there'll be some time to talk with them about that at the end. Um, oh, and someone... Oh, Liberty said you can't turn your audio on. Uh, it should be, um, I think it's just on the top. If you sort of hover up the top, it should allow you to. And Kathy. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, it's just down the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I just want to quickly answer. Look, for me, I, um, I've, I've, I've loved oils all my life, but, um, you know, when I came across doTERRA, I um, mean, you know, everything you've talked about tonight, I, I relate to because there's not many oil companies that are so pure. Um, and then when I started collecting my oils, I started, and, and especially the course I did with you, Amy, and, and a few of the other coaches, I really started looking at, at the, the, the chemicals that I have around the house, not just the cleaning stuff, but my body lotion, my shampoo, my proactive i looked at my proactive that i've been on for 15 years and i've gone i'm putting acetone on my face yeah. what is going on yeah. um so it's important for me to be able to um take those out because i have really noticed the difference um my skin isn't so red yeah. um i'm not as sore um you know and and to see that in myself, it's important for me to show my, my son that he doesn't have to spend a lot of money or, you know, dip his, his body in harsh chemicals um, to feel good. And, and, yeah, I mean, obviously for our families, but also for the earth. It's, there's so many questions around sourcing and yeah, why it's so expensive and the um, purity of everything. And, and, you know, I think that's a really important point to raise as well um and and that's something doTERRA does really really well yeah thank you thank you for sharing yeah. no it's it's really you know I think it, it's it's just it's so empowering to have these options at hand we had a couple more things that came in um so Catherine said to help my son breathe easier because the chemicals affect his chronic lung um also, Fleur, uh, we're more informed about the environment and health nowadays. Damage was done in the 1950s to 80s regarding plastics and the ozone layer. Our generation cares now. Very true. Yes, there's so many different things. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes just to write down three things that um, are happening in your own homes. Um, and, yeah, and write those down and then we'll get to that towards the end. And we're going to have the fun part when I'm going to start talking about the oils. So I think one more question's popped up while we're waiting. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My 10-year-old reaches for herbal tea and essential oils when he's sick. This was, this was before I joined doTERRA. Oh, that's great. It's so great. It's so, I think that's the coolest thing about this is, you know, we're really empowering our families to, um, to be reaching for, you know, more natural options. And, you know, I love, like, I love that Ash is sort of around this now and he's going to be growing up for that, knowing what to reach for and things like that. It's just fantastic. So basically we're going to be talking about the top 10 oils uh, plus a couple of my favourites as well. Um, and I'm going to um, talk about each of these in the sense of how they can reduce toxins and also how you can use them in your natural medicine cabinet as well so peppermint essential oil um, many people know peppermint essential oil as 
um, being great for calming your tummy. So many people have a peppermint tea when they're feeling unwell. Peppermint essential oil is lovely to rub as a massage just on your belly. As I mentioned earlier, it's great for head tension. So if you're feeling um, lots of um, head tension, it's fantastic. Invigorating for the lungs. So um, respiratory ailments, it's brilliant to use to just open up the airways. Um, and it's really great for alertness and focus. So if you are needing to study or you've got a big day on at work and you need to think, it's absolutely brilliant to use peppermint to wake yourself up. I put a drop on my palm with a little bit of carrier oil, rub my palms together and take a deep breath in. It wakes me right up. Um, and it's just incredible, especially when you've got mum brain like me to really, <laughs> to really help that out. Um, and it's very cooling for the body as well. So um, if we're getting overheated or anything like that, you can actually use a little roller bottle, roll down the spine on the soles of the feet, uh, especially for little ones that are over two. That's fantastic to use in that way. Um, it's also great for um, a cooling body spray. So I actually used to get uh, a lot of um, night sweats. Um, I was hormonally related. And so what I would do is I would make up a little spray bottle with water, um, a tablespoon of witch hazel. Witch hazel is just a toner that you can buy from the chemist. And I would literally just spray um, my fa not my face because you don't want peppermint in your eyes, but I spray sort of my neck down and just it would be really cooling and help me to have a nicer sleep. And if you've ever had night sweats at night, it's not fun and you cannot sleep. So it was a really nice thing to use. Um, yeah, so that's peppermint. Um, I also love using peppermint in food as well, which is incredible. Um, now, lavender, lavender is um, brilliant for all things skin. So think bug bites, insect bites. Um, so you know when um, mozzie bites, a lot of people get infected um, mozzie bites. You can use that just to help soothe that and calm that down. Um, and it's great for any sort of skin irritation, so rashes, um, burns, it's brilliant for burns. I don't recommend using a carrier oil with lavender for a burn, just use the lavender straight because the carrier oil can hold the heat in. Um, uh, lavender is also brilliant for bee stings. I don't know if I said bee stings earlier, but um, yeah. Um, and it's very calming. So, you know, when you're feeling agitated or you can't sleep, uh, lavender is a brilliant one to, uh, to reach for. Now, if you get seasonal, um, Seasonal irritations like coughing, sneezing, um, itchy eyes, all those fun things when spring comes on. A really great blend, and you're more than welcome to, um, to uh, write this down, is two drops of peppermint, two drops of lavender, two drops of lemon, and two drops of tea tree. I'll say that again. So two peppermint, two lavender, two tea tree, and two lemon. And you just put that in the diffuser, or you can put uh, five drops of each in a roller bottle. And that um, that is very soothing for any sort of seasonal um, irritations that you may get. Um, my neighbor, he actually um, gets terrible um, seasonal allergies, and he was out um, at the front of my place. We don't see them very often, but uh, the poor thing was suffering terribly and I made him up that little blend and his wife came running around the next day because what he had been taking hadn't been working and actually stopped working and that was the first thing he'd worked in such a long time. Um, so absolutely incredible. Um, there's also, what else? Um, lavender is, yeah, very calming at night. So I put a drop on the pillow. Um, something not related to... Um, to lavender in a, in a like a health way is if you hate ironing you can make up a little spray bottle with water and lavender give it a good shake spray your clothes while you're having a before you have a shower and it will actually drop the crinkles out so I love using that because I hate ironing um, yeah so that's a couple of ways that you can use lavender lavender is also a great mix with chocolate sounds weird but it's beautiful um, now the next one is frankincense now frankincense is one of my absolute favorite oils I um, as many of you know that are on the call that are part of the Healthy Happy Life Tribe, I um, have always suffered terribly with anxious feelings. Um, I'm one that, you know, really struggled with um, feeling really low and with my anxious feelings growing up. Frankincense has been an absolute game changer for me. I find it very grounding, um, incredible to use. I actually, when I'm feeling really overwhelmed, I put a drop under my tongue and it just calms things right down. Especially at night, if I get that racing mind, it is brilliant. Um, frankincense, they call it the king of oils because it's good for so many different things. So it's brilliant for nourishing the blood and the brain. It's great for cellular health, um, boosts the immune system, um, great for um, aches and pains. Um, so I love mixing that with our ice blue, which is our soothing blend, it really supports that. But frankincense is just absolutely incredible. So um, 
It's also, as I said, it's an, an anti-aging oil. And if you're wanting to see the benefits of frankincense, look up on pubmed.gov. There's incredible amount of studies that have been done on frankincense and the powerful healing abilities that it does have. Um, but yeah, I could rave about frankincense all day, but I won't because you'll probably all be bored. Um, but it's my favorite. So um, yeah, um, the next one is tea tree. So uh, tea tree is incredible to have in your toolkit as well. Um, Great for um, any sort of um, fungal irritations. Um, um, you can add it to your cleaners as well. So this I use in all of my cleaners because it's antibacterial and just really helps to um, to clean. So this is also great for cleaning cuts. So um, Asher has his dad's skin. So whenever he gets a cut, it gets inflamed really, really quickly. And so what we use is the tea tree over the top to help it heat, um, to help it clean. And then we use lavender to help it heal really fast. But um, it's absolutely incredible. You can make up a little um, spray with a spray bottle. This is one of my, this is actually my bug spray, but um, you can use a little spray bottle like this and you literally just add uh, water, uh, um, sorry, um, lavender, frankincense and tea tree. So uh, say five drops of each and then top it with a carrier oil and you've got a little on the go spray um, for any of like, you know, if kids fall over, cut themselves, things like that. It's brilliant to have on hand to support that. Um, Great for if anyone gets mouth ulcers. Um, I love um, doing like a mouth rinse with tea tree and lemon um, and that helps calm that down. So if you've been to the, uh, the dentist or absolutely uh, um, accidentally bitten the inside of your mouth, that's brilliant for that. Also great to gargle if you have a sore throat. So um, lemon, tea tree in water and just gargle and then I spit uh, and that helps with a sore throat. For kids, because you don't want them accidentally drinking it, you can um, just layer it over the outside of their throat and I tend to, if I'm layering it over the outside of the throat, I tend to add frankincense as well to support that as well. Um, as I said, tea tree is brilliant for earache. So again, behind the ears and back of the neck. Um, yeah, so really, really supporting. Um, it's a great one to have in the toolkit. So definitely if, um, if you need support for kids and falling over all the time, your lavender, frankincense and tea tree are your go-tos. Now the next one um, I absolutely love, which is oregano. So if you've ever smelled oregano, you know it's packs a punch. It's incredibly strong. When I first smelt this, someone, sorry, when I first got this, someone told me that it was great for boosting the immune system. So I thought, oh, fantastic. And I put five drops in my diffuser and my house smelled like a pizza shop. So word of warning, don't do that. <laughs> but it's brilliant mixed with other essential oils. So it's brilliant mixed with On Guard. It's um, great mixed with uh, lemon. Uh, what else do I put it with? So I put in my diffuser. So this is actually, um, I think I mentioned this in the beginning. So this is my immune boosting blend, which is On Guard, lemon, tea tree, oregano, and frankincense. Uh, two drops of each in the diffuser, and that's my immune boosting blend. Um, but oregano is like a natural antibiotic. So it boosts the um, immune system incredibly well. It's powerful. So you only sort of want to use it for a week straight in a block, um, using it daily, um, and then give yourself a little bit of a break because it is a powerful one and your system does need to process it um, but I di always dilute oregano it's a very hot oil so you don't want to be using it straight on your skin but great on the soles of the feet and down the spine this is what we used with the on guard which is our immune boosting oil uh, when we were sick um, the other day as well and it just helps to just get us right right back into to normal health again which is great um, also great for warts and skin tags so instead of using that poisonous wart off oregano is your friend so you just put a little bit of the um coconut oil around the wart and then add the um sorry coconut oil around the wart and then add the oregano essential oil uh, every day i would say twice a day for about two weeks and you'll notice it'll start to change color um same thing for uh skin tags as well so um i know a lady that gets skin tags underneath her arms um and she uses that and it gets rid of it really really quickly actually after about a week it will go black and drop off so uh, really handy to use in that way um, the next one is lemon. So lemon is, as I said earlier, it's incredibly detoxifying, great for sore throats, great to get rid of any odors around the home. So I actually use this in all of my cleaners. After I change the bed sheets, I actually make a spray with water, lemon, um, and another oil called Purify. And I just give the house a bit of a freshen up by spraying the mattresses, spraying the lounges, um, and dog beds and things like that. It's brilliant for, um, it's actually in all of our recipe cleaning, uh, sorry, cleaning recipes and in our members portal, um, which you get access 
access to when you're a member within the Healthy Happy Life Tribe. There's lots of recipes that can teach you how to use and swap out a lot of your home chemical cleaners with the lemon essential oil. Um, and it's very elevating for the mood. So if you're feeling really low, mix it with peppermint and diffuse, and that's really helpful. Um, ice blue. So ice blue is your incredible um, muscle, um, sore muscle. Um, it's kind of like the natural deep heat. Um, I absolutely love it. It's great for the elderly if they get sore hands as well. So you can actually, um, you can rub that in with some carrier oil. Um, great for lower back pain. So I've had a, um, I've had a sore back ever since I had Asha and Ice Blue has been my friend. Um, thank you, childbirth. <laughs> uh, but great for pre and post exercise as well. So now I, I have to admit, as I said, I'm not a great exerciser. So when I do exercise, I'm incredibly sore. So I tend to put the Ice Blue on before I exercise and that really helps. And if you can con someone into doing a massage for you, that's a great oil to use as well. Um, the next one is Easy Air. So Easy Air is, as I said earlier, our respiratory blend. So great to support any sort of um, sniffles or any sort of respiratory issues. Um, great to uh, diffuse. Um, I, you can actually make your own natural Vicks as well. So if you do currently use Vicks, that would be the one thing that I'd really encourage you to get rid of. Uh, the reason for that is because Vicks is made with a lot of petrochemicals and a lot of, and we all used Vicks, you know, that was what was smothered on us when we were kids. It was, you know, our go-to. Um, unfortunately, it's got a lot of chemicals in it that are quite nasty. Really easy to make your own uh, Vicks. And again, we have um, lots of recipes available um, in our members group. Um, but I mean, I make, I make a really simple kind of, it actually smells a bit chocolatey, it's quite nice. But I use cacao butter, coconut oil, uh, the fractionated coconut oil, and just the um, easy air and it's just kind of like a balm and we use that whenever we're unwell. Um, I wouldn't recommend topically under two uh, so we just diffuse it for Asher or put a couple of drops on the bed sheets if he's a bit sniffly and that just opens up his airways and just really helps with that. Um, also good for sinus and anything um, going on there as well so it's just support, very supporting for sinus issues. Um, yeah, so that's our easy air. The next one is Smart and Sassy. So Smart and Sassy is our metabolic blend. Now this one is incredible if you, um, if you're wanting to support weight loss, um, also great to use topically for cellulite as well, because it contains grapefruit and grapefruit's brilliant for that. Um, I love diffusing because it has peppermint, cinnamon and citrus. It's incredibly uplifting. Absolutely love it. Um, Oh, just love the smell. But um, yeah, very uplifting for the mood. Uh, also supports sugar cravings um, and uh, regulates metabolism. It helps to support a meta healthy metabolism as well. Um, the next one is Digest Zen. So uh, Digest Zen. Now, if, if you could smell Digest Zen, um, I actually should have explained. So your ice blue has got a mix of different oils. Your um, So the ice blue, just to quickly go back, your ice blue has got like wintergreen and camphor and quite smells like, it reminds me of a men's sports shed, that really deep heat type smell. Your easy air has a beautiful mix of oils. So it's got laurel, eucalyptus, peppermint, tea tree, lemon, ravensara and cardamom. Um, I love the smell. It's very, very fresh. Um, the easy air. Um, the Digestin, now Digestin um, has like an aniseed or licorice type smell to it. Now this is actually the oil that converted my husband. So um, my hubby, he gets terrible, um, what's it called? Is it heartburn or um, reflux? And um, he's used the Digestin to support that. So um, he used to have to use Gaviscon and that was quite, um, I didn't really like that. And so he started using this and that was what made him realize that the oils were really helping him. Um, so digest sand is incredibly supportive for all uh, tummy ailments. So um, if you're blocked up, if you've got the runs, um, if you're bloated, any sort of irritations, it's great. I'm gluten and dairy intolerant. So I find that when I use, when I eat that sort of thing, it, it irritates me really easily. Um, so I find digest and just rubbed on the belly really, really helps me in that way. Um, but great for kids. If you know, you've got going both ends and you need a bit of support with that, it's, um, it's a great supportive oil. Also great for nausea and car sickness. So Asha gets, um, very car sick, uh, and he also gets seasick as well. So we have like a little, um, blend made up for him that we just rub on his belly and that's really, really supportive. Um, on guard is the next one. So, um, on guard, 
is our immune boosting blend. Um, you can use On Guard to uh, support the immune system, put it down the spine, soles of the feet. This is another great one to uh, reduce all the toxins in your home because you can actually, contains clove. Clove is brilliant to combat mold. So I have this in all of my shower cleaners. Um, we actually live in quite a damp area, so we do tend to have a problem with the mold. Um, and we found that using clove and lemon and tea tree have been really helpful for that. Um, sorry, On Guard because it has clove in it. Um, and when you're looking at um, on guard, it um, because clove is a high antioxidant, so incredible to use topically as well. Um, clove, if you're looking at the um, ORAC scale, which has the um, antioxidant readings, um, you, a lot of people when they think of antioxidants, they think of blueberries. Blueberries on that scale are about 7,000. Um, clove is 300,000. So incredibly powerful and a great one to use. I've just had a question pop up, so I'll just check what that question is. Oops. Oops. It's not coming up. Um, so Liberty asks, what other oils for burns? I'm not sure actually, hun. Um, you could probably check your Modern Essentials um, book and that will give you some ideas. Um, I find lavender is just really supportive. Um, and Fleur um, asked about, um, yeah, I wouldn't know about that. That would probably be out of my scope. So again, uh, Modern Essentials would be um, probably the best way to, to go with that question as well. Um, yeah, so, um, and the and if you're not too sure, there are lots of references which I can link you to as a member as well to really support and guide your um, essential oil journey, which I'll talk about shortly as well. So, yeah, so On Guard, um, uh, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, I think I was just talking about how I can use it in all of the cleaners as well. So there's lots of different ways you can use it. We use it in our surface spray, um, bathroom spray. Yeah, it's incredibly powerful. Um, now, there's sort of the main oils. One oil I wanted to briefly mention as well is our Clary Calm blend. So Clary Calm is our hormone support blend. Um, I find this absolutely incredible and a lot of women in our uh, members group do as well. It's um, great for monthly support for both physical and emotional. So um, if you're one that gets, um, that gets quite angry or grouchy around that time of the month. It's a brilliant oil. Um, but I actually found for me, um, I've had a lot of um, hormonal issues and this has been a real support for me um, and highly recommend. So great for all ages, so teens right through to people suffering um, when they're uh, going through menopause as well. It's a great support for that, for balancing the hormones. Um, yeah, so they're sort of the main oils. So um, basically what I wanted to talk about was a couple of the benefits. So I hope you've learnt um, a lot with tonight. So I'm going to talk about the different ways that you can access the oils and um, oh, another question that's popped up. And uh, I'm going to talk about some specials that we've got on tonight as well. <laughs> and Jess, Jess has commented, Clary Calm has made me a better person. Just ask my husband. So <laughs> that's good to hear. <laughs> um, but basically, the beautiful thing about um, when you become a member with the Healthy Happy Life Tribe, um, and now please um, head back to the person that sent you to this um, this webinar because they'll be able to support you uh, with how to, how to join and answer any of your questions as well. Uh, but basically, I want to run through a couple of the benefits. So when you're a member of the Healthy Happy Life Tribe, you get huge amount of support. You get 25% off all of your oils. Um, you get access to our beginner's email series, which is a step-by-step -step guide. You also get a one-on-one -on -one with either myself or the person that enrolled you to really guide you through how to use the oils. We know when you first get started, it can be incredibly overwhelming on uh, which way or how or what to do with the oils. So we give you step-by-step -step support with that. Um, we have a members online portal, which is our, our um, information hub, which has lots of recipes, lots of step-by-step -step information, videos and guides to support you. We do online webinars that are specific for members and there's lots of member benefits as well. So um, we have our beautiful loyalty rewards program, which is completely optional. Um, and the great thing I love about doTERRA is there's no forced ordering or requirement to sell so literally when you have your wholesale account you can order that you can order oils whenever suits you so um, it's an incredible um, program that we have called the loyalty rewards program which if you would like to um, build up on your oils and you know not only get sort of the beginner oils but start building into emotional support oils and other oils you can actually start earning um, up to 30% back in product points so not only do you get 25% off 
the, whole, the retail price, you also get an additional 30% back in product points as well. I'm not going to go too much into that because um, we can cover that in the wellness consult. Um, but uh, what else? Um, but basically, there's three ways to use your oils. So we have uh, live, share, or build. So if you're just wanting to use them personally, that's fantastic. And that's actually our priority. So as part of the Healthy Happy Life Tribe, you actually get access to our beautiful online community. Um, and we... We really pride ourselves in really supporting you to make you feel really comfortable and to feel that you can ask questions whenever you're feeling stuck. And if you're just wanting to use them personally, then that's fantastic. We will guide you and support you for that. However, if you're wanting to get some um, oils for free, you can actually, if you're interested in holding a class, we can actually come and teach a class for you. Um, I travel around Australia doing classes and a lot of our members um, do as well. Um, and the third way, if you're interested, there is actually a business opportunity. I'm not going to go too into detail with that because I am having a webinar next week about the business opportunity, but I do love to talk about it because I actually never used to because I was scared to, but it's completely changed my life. In the space of a year and a half, I have created a beautiful heart-centered business that is actually a six-figure income every year every year and I literally am helping people every day with their health and I am so passionate as you can see from my webinar tonight I just absolutely love what I do and um, it's allowed me to stay at home with my little man and be um, a stay-at-home mum and just fit it in with my lifestyle um, and it's just been such an incredible opportunity the community we, the community that we've created um, in the space of uh, just under two years we have um, now 16 just over almost 1700 members um, in our um, in our Healthy Happy Life Tribe and it's just growing at such a rapid rate and it's just incredible to be a part of and to see so many families um, choosing healthier options and having that support. So a lot of you are probably wondering what the options are and how you can actually um, how you can actually join. So I'm going to talk about the, the different options. I'm going to stop the share quickly because I'm going to share another screen to make it really easy for you. So let me just bring this up here. And we've got a couple of specials on at the moment too. So I'm just sharing the new screen up. So basically, there's if you're looking, uh, where are we? Oops, sorry. Um, to become a wholesale member, I'm actually going to bring up the price list just to show you. Whoops, it should work. Share screen. Hopefully, you can see. Yeah, so this is our price list and um, and you can email either myself or the person that sent you to this and they can send this through to you. But basically there's two options. Um, now to become a member, you can join with a $35 membership fee um, and create a custom order or there's some kits that come with free um, membership, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, but basically we don't talk about retail really because actually I don't think that retail is great value because with retail, it's like when you walk into a shop, you order your oils and then you don't get any support. So that's why we talk about wholesale because you get access to all of that um, incredible support and um, member benefits. So the wholesale is 25% off. Um, and now if you're looking at the kits, so I'm going to talk about a couple of kits tonight because um, there's some great options to get started where you can save a lot of money. So um, the first kit I'll talk about quickly is our natural solutions kit. So again, with this kit, you get free um, membership, you save that $35 straight away. The oils are heavily discounted. So this one contains our top 10 oils that we spoke about tonight, plus um, Smart and Sassy. It also has Clary Calm, the hormone blend. It has Past Tense, which is our tension blend. So it's some clean, this is the sort of the kit that you go for if you're wanting to change everything in your home. If you're wanting to um, jump right in and get rid of the chemical toxins, you've got some hand wash, you've got some toothpaste, um, absolutely incredible kit. There's also some emotional support oils in there as well. So that's the kit you sort of go for if you're really wanting to dive right in and change things right away. The most popular kit is our um, Home Essentials kit. Now this is a brilliant kit because not only does it have free membership, it also comes with a free diffuser and the oils are heavily discounted. So um, frankincense, for example, now frankincense is normally $114 at retail. In this kit, the oils average out at $33 each. So incredibly, incredibly um, cheap compared to what you would be paying uh, individually. Um, and as I said, frankincense is the king of oils, but this contains your top 10. So you've got your oregano uh, for immune support. Uh, you can also use oregano in food, I forgot to mention as well. Um, tea tree, uh, lemon, frankincense, on guard, so your immune support oil, uh, lavender, 
peppermint digestion for any belly support, uh, easier for respiratory support, and um, ice blue for uh, muscle support. Now this month you also, um, so I'm talking um, about the special that comes with both of these kits this month. You also now, I'm just gonna say in case someone watches this recording, it is September. So um, they're, they're, um, yeah, so this is September. Um, Manuka in and Litsia are this month's special with either of these kits. You actually get these free. Now, Manuka is actually um, great for dandruff. So if you're someone who suffers from dandruff, this is, um, this is actually, if you're looking at uh, the Manuka uh, honey this is from the manuka tree incredibly powerful great for boosting the immune system um, anti-inflammatory great for bites and stings as well um, great for seasonal um, irritants again this is the one that said it's great for body odor and it's very relaxing as well so um, if you are someone that gets overwhelmed or stressed manuka is incredible for that the other one uh, that you get free this month is litsia so litsia i spoke about earlier litsia is fantastic for when you are feeling down it smells like lemon balm um, it is very uplifting, great for the skin and, um, and supports a healthy digestion as well. So those, um, two come with that home essentials kit. Um, now, uh, yeah, so that's those two oils. If you're looking for something a little bit, uh, smaller, we do have our essential collection kit. Now this comes with the top 10 oils again, but in the five mil bottles. So if you're looking at the two bottles, the um, large bottles have 250 drops and the smaller bottles have 80 drops. So it's still a fantastic kit, but that's why I do recommend the uh, Home Essentials kit because it is three times the amount of essential oil that you're getting um, for not that much more in price. So it is an incredibly um, beneficial saver, but this is also a great um, starter kit as well. If you're just wanting to sort of get a taste of the oils and you've got 80 drops of each and you can um, really um, dive in and try those. Uh, we do have our Aroma Touch kit as well, but that doesn't have frankincense, unfortunately, and a few of the other oils. Um, but yeah, so they're our, our main kits. Uh, now, what um, I wanted to say is, now, if you have been sent here from uh, one of the members of the Healthy Happy Life Tribe, or if you're currently working with another wellness advocate, please go back to them and they'll be able to support you with joining. Um, we, um, we also, oh, and um, if, if it was me that invited you to tonight, I do have a, um, a special offer for the first three people who um, email me, um, and I can let you know um, what that special is. Um, what I would like you to do is the three things that you actually wrote down, I would like you to go back to the person that invited you to tonight and I want you to talk to them about those three things that's going on for you and they can actually recommend what oils would be uh, a great support. We use some great reference guides. Um, so we use the Modern Essentials book and the Essential Life book and those books are incredible. They are so empowering and they really can give you lots of ideas on what oils can support you. So please uh, head back to the person uh, that invited you to tonight. Um, but I really hope that you all found tonight really really helpful um, and if there's any questions at all um, I'm gonna st stick on here for a little bit longer please um, feel free to type into the chat box or um, yeah if you think I've missed anything I'll just quickly check if anything's popped up um, chat box so Manuka at this stage has um, not been improved for, uh, approved for internal use in Australia. Someone asked, can Manuka be taken internally? Um, so what's the recipe for dandruff with Manuka? So, I mean, I personally, I would just use um, a carrier oil and I would massage that in. Um, or you can just add a little bit to your shampoo as well. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of ways there. Does anyone else have any um, questions at all about anything that I've covered. And please remember that I've got um, my business opportunity webinar on next week as well, which will be really helpful. Um, but basically, you know, if you're brand new to oils, we're really excited to uh, support you on this journey and to have you as a part of the, the Healthy Happy Life Tribe and um, really, really looking forward to, um, yeah, to sharing these oils with you more. And I hope that even if you are a member already, that I hope you've gotten a lot out of uh, tonight and it's been really helpful for you. Um, my email, if you need it, is amy at healthybellyhappymind.com. Um, and yeah, I'm there to answer any uh, questions. Okay, so um, for Diane, um, for, that, for um, colds and coughs, a respiratory support, um, and tonight is recorded. So yeah, I can definitely... Um, share that as well. Uh, Natalie, no, it was a no for Manuka internally. Um, it's not approved for internal use in Australia. So um, yeah, 
Uh, but yeah, so it, um, what I'll do is I will um, be, I'll keep my I'll keep my phone on. And if there's any um, questions that come through before the end of the night, please um, please feel free to uh, to send them through. Um, Oh, Shannon, that's fine. I'll be sending you through um, the recording anyway. But I hope everyone's enjoyed it. And thank you so much for being here. I've loved every minute. So thank you for allowing me to share my passion. Um, my email, I'm going to type it into the chat box so that everyone can see it because I've just had a question. So it's amy at healthybellyhappymind.com. There we are. So it's in the chat box. But enjoy, guys. I'll post the recording into our members group. Enjoy. Have a great night. Thanks.